Welcome to Yokohama, a city worth its own mention as a day trip destination for the likes of Tokyo. The city boasts a number of tourism related facilities, including the ones we're going to introduce to you very shortly. Quite recently, a few of these developments have been successfully built, which has definitely increased the city's appeal to both the domestic and international markets alike. Want to know more? Come up with us and the team of Oden Photography, Shuki Travels, Kodai Dojo Waku, and of course, Jetro Kanagawa in Singapore. First up though, it's Shin Yokohama Ramen Museum. Let's go! And located right near the proximity of Shin Yokohama Station is indeed the Shin Yokohama Ramen Museum. Now what's quite famous about this place is that it houses many of the famous ramen shops of winning multiple ramen cups on each of the different regions. Whilst it's not a new attraction in Yokohama as it was built in 1994, what is quite special about this place is that it ever evolves into introducing new ramen concepts into the local population at Yokohama as well as the local populace in Japan. As you can see right behind me, it houses three types of ramen from miso ramen, from all the way from Hokkaido, to tsukemen, which is quite a famous ramen right here in Tokyo, right to the black ramen, in black ramen, which is deeply enriched with soy sauce in the Toyama region, right through to the famous tonkotsu ramen in the Kyushu region. For all of you guys who do have some dietary restrictions, don't worry about it because this place also has ramen stores where they can be able to adjust the menu specifically for gluten-free as well as vegan options are available for, for anyone that's visiting this museum. So we just found out that uh, Yusuke and them are eating at Hachang. Hey Yusuke! Hello, Daichi, how was the Hachang? How was Hachang? Hachang? How was Hachang? Um, very kotteri. <laughs> <laughs> very, very kotteri. We just had to show you, you know, that really natural taste. Yeah. So like the contrast was it just with my like my head went crazy. <laughs> it was still good. Like it was it was different ramen. Mm. It was more like a, on the fatty side. Yeah. And I mean we're young, we're still young so we can still eat it. So. <laughs> there you go. Bono. Hacha. Mm. Bono. And also it's uh, the the noodles really thin. Oh yeah. So it's more easy to like eat. Oh there you go. Eating like like Yokohama Yeke ramen or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's just <laughs> he's just so a new attraction that's opened up quite recently at Yokohama is the moving Gundam that's located right here at Yamashita Pier. It is a themed facility with an 18 meter Gundam that overlooks the entirety of Yamashita Pier as well as Yamashita Park and is within walking distance from the famous Yokohama Chinatown. The moving Gundam itself has approximately more than 24 individual moving pieces and was built in commemoration with a collaboration from different agencies and companies for the 40th anniversary of the broadcasting of the Mobile Suit Gundam series. As we approach closer towards the pier itself, you can barely see the moving gun right beside or right behind this building, which will kind of build up the anticipation as you enter. Unfortunately, I have to report to you that at the time of this reporting, um, the moving Gundam is set to close at March next year in the year 2022. So if you ever find yourself in Yokohama before March 2022, please check out this moving Gundam as it is a temporary but awesome exhibit to see. For entry tickets and prices as well as times to see the moving Gundam as well as to explore the other exhibits inside this place. The moving Gundam factory stuff I would highly advise you to check out the website for more information including ticket prices as well as time. We're born, we've, if it's not obvious to you right now, we're on the Ferris wheel, the main Ferris wheel of Cosmo World. Now the ride that we wanted to kind of show you is a new attraction. And the new attraction we're talking about is the air gondolas that recently opened at Cosmo World this year in the month of April. So what's so famous about this air gondola? It allows easy access between two ports, which is the Cosmo World port and the JR station known as Sakuragi Cho. The cost for this ride is only 1,000 yen, but boarding the air gondola allows you the opportunity to be able to look down at the major canal that runs through Minato Mirai. And in fact, if you were to to purchase a, a special ticket which is priced at 1,500 yen it allows you the admission ticket for not only the air gondola but 
also allows you admission for the Ferris wheel that we're on right now. Um, I'm not quite sure you can be able to see, but the air gondola is right behind. Um, I'm scared as at the moment. Um, I was telling the group that I can't stand heights and the fact that this is going at a slower pace is making me a bit anxious. <laughs> And this wraps up pretty much this episode of the newest trends that are happening right now in Yokohama. There's waiting for you to visit when the borders open up. Thank you very much for watching this episode of the Global Citizenship. And this episode is proudly sponsored by Jetro Offices in Singapore. For any more special guides about Japan, whether it be culture, food, or entertainment, feel free to explore any of our videos that are available for you to view on demand in any of our series. Again, thank you very much for Jetro. Thank you very much to the city of Yokohama, and of course, Shuke and the team at the Karate Dojo Waku and of course Audience Photography for joining me in this experience. We'll see you next episode. Catch you later. Bye.